Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Okwayemi Goddess and if you're new to this channel, you're very much welcome. Here yeah, I talk about everything relating to lifestyle, to motherhood, life in the UK as a nurse and sometimes I talk about my career as well as a nurse of course and um, everything awesome, everything uplifting, everything inspiring everything informative really so if you like any of those things please do what subscribe like and of course share this video anyways in today's video we're talking about best cities to live um, in the uk as a migrant or as a new migrant really so the last video i i posted i think it was all about um how to live cheaply in the uk as a new migrant or how to save money in the uk as a new migrant and i remember the first thing i mentioned in that video is the fact that living outside of london or living in cheap places is a good way to actually save money as a new migrant in today's video i would actually um explore places that are quite affordable to live in the uk as a new mi migrant i'll be talking about 16 places to be precise now before i go ahead i would just like to say that um i think i had about five reasons why i picked um all these um cities i'll be talking about so i have about 16 cities that um I personally picked or selected and um, I considered five parameters when I was actually choosing the cities. The first parameter I actually considered is the fact that I like to live in a very lively place. So as much as I would love to save money by not living inside of London or just outside of London, like places very close to London, as much as I want to live like a bit far away from London because of the high cost of living over there. I know you guys already know that we moved from Essex to Manchester and one of the reasons why we even moved was because of the high cost of living over there. So as much as I would want to save money on on my living expenses, I like to live in a very bu a bubbling place, some, somewhere bustling, somewhere very lively, somewhere very energetic and all of that. So I considered that when I was selecting all the cities. I also considered safety and security. So all these places I'll be mentioning are relatively safe. I mean, nowhere is safe in the UK, like totally safe. Nowhere is like 100% safe. Let me put it like that. So UK is a safe place to live really, but it's not like it's 100% safe, but I still consider that safety and security as well so all these places i'll be mentioning are relatively safe as well another factor i actually considered is the economic reward like places where you would actually get um good jobs so even though it's not like the heart of london it's not close to london but you still be able to get good jobs and um, maybe even professional jobs or your desired job really so i actually consider that as well i also consider diversity because i love to live in an environment that is quite diverse places where you would find people of all colors, of all um, race. I mean, people that are from different um, walks of life. So I also consider the diversity of these places. And the last thing I consider, which, which should be the first really, is um, how cheap or how, how affordable these places are. So let's just get right into this video. First on my list is actually Birmingham and um, as we all know presently Birmingham is like the second largest city in the UK after London and um, it is very very populous like the population there is actually quite um, large and um, it is very diverse Birmingham is very very diverse there are people of different cultures different nationalities that live in Birmingham and um, it is actually relatively cheap to live in Birmingham as well so that's actually one of the reasons why I chose Birmingham to be the first on my list I mean it kind of ticks all the book all the five boxes I mentioned earlier it ticks all of them so you may want to consider living in Birmingham and of course Birmingham is actually located in West Mid Midland so it's a good place to live so the next on my list is actually Liverpool and Liverpool is located in the northwest of england liverpool is actually very cheap to live i have friends living in liverpool and what they pay for rent for the same two bed house that we live is way way cheaper than what we even pay here in manchester and of course it is a, it is a very lively city it's got loads of um, cultural heritage as well and liverpool is just a lovely place to live and of course it is quite cheap to live the next time i live is manchester and just like liverpool manchester is also located in the northwest of england and i mean it's very close to liverpool anyways we all know that presently manchester is the third largest city in the uk 
and uh, it's quite diverse manchester is very diverse it is multicultural i mean economically manchester is quite buoyant so whatever job you're looking for trust me you'll find in manchester so as per economic reward you find it in manchester affordability you find it in manchester and that's because manchester is quite big so so as much as there are places that are quite expensive in manchester you would always still find places that are relatively cheap it is it is that big so um in, te in terms of being lively oh, i'm sure you know by now manchester is very lively to live safety and security were well, relatively safe to live in manchester as well there are places of course with very high crime rate in manchester um and there are places with relatively low crime rates in manchester where we live is actually very low on the crime um scene it's actually very low but i know that places in manchester with very high crime rates yeah so just consider that if manchester is something you would want to consider next on my list is actually nottingham and it is actually located in um the east midlands and nottingham is actually very very amazing so as at the time we moved from essex to manchester my very good friend in the same hospital where i was working also moved from essex to nottingham in fact two of them actually and um one of them actually the moment it goes to nottingham i said my husband bought a house immediately so and then of course they tell me a lot of things about nottingham how beautiful it is how pleasant it is and so something you should also note about nottingham there's like a balance so it's like a balance of both lively and quiet so if you want a, a quiet life or a lively life you would find a balance in nottingham and of course it is also relatively cheap i must also say that all these places have like the high-end areas and the low-end areas so regardless you still find cheap and affordable places to live in all these places i mentioned Next is um glasgow and as we all know glasgow is actually the capital city of um, scotland and it is known for the various um tourist attraction sites glasgow is very beautiful it is very rich in culture shopping of course and people and um, it's just an amazing place to live i've heard lots and lots of good things about glasgow and it's exactly um a place i would personally like to visit for vacation or for holiday in summer so if you're considering a place that is of course very bustling very energetic very lively you may want to consider glasgow and of course the cost of living is of course cheaper compared to london or places closer to london so the next is leicester and leicester is located in east midlands as well it is also a very friendly place very welcoming it is also very rich in culture and it is also relatively cheap to live in leicester like leicester has a lot of cheap areas where you so can next leave. one is belfast and belfast is the capital of northern ireland but then um while i was doing my research i realized that um, um northern ireland actually has a I mean a relatively lower rate of employment compared to other places in the uk so if um the economic reward is what you're considering you may not want to consider northern ireland from what i actually um gathered from my research but i don't want to believe that there are no nice jobs there i mean if you're not like in the healthcare industry for instance i want to believe there will still be other jobs i mean in northern ireland but please do your research very well it, it actually ticks all the other boxes as regards um safety and security diversity of course affordability of course um being lively so it takes all those other bo boxes the only box i'm not so sure it takes is the economic reward especially if you're not like in the healthcare industry like if you're in the healthcare industry you know that there will always be um hospitals around you regardless of where you live in the uk or there will always be care homes there will always be like a place where you can work as say a healthcare practitioner but um from what i've gathered online it's got um like a lower rate of employment so you have to consider that if you want to consider moving to say belfast for instance which is the capital city of northern ireland but then it is a very beautiful place to to reside belfast particularly is very be beautiful and um I, I believe that it has um a lot of tourist attraction sites as well so you may want to consider that the next on my list is brighton and i particularly like this one because i've been there for holiday last year we spent a holiday last day in brighton and oh my god brighton is a very beautiful place now brighton is actually located in in east sussex and um sussex is actually a bit pricey i must say so it's not like a very very cheap place to live but it is still affordable it is still cheaper than living in london or very close to london so 
I don't think there's anything wrong in considering Brighton. Brighton has an amazing seaside. Oh my God, the beach day is breathtaking. We were there for holiday and I did not want to come back. Like, it's, so, it's such a beautiful place. Brighton is such a beautiful place. Like, they've got seaside resort. I mean, it's just a beautiful place. So you may want to consider Brighton as well. Coming to the northeast of England, I've got two cities that you'd love. One is Sunderland and one is Newcastle. Both cities are actually very amazing. Um, and they've got like a mix of quiet and lively like if you are looking if you're looking at um like a mix or a balanced um, lifestyle you would find that in newcastle or sunderland and um it's actually quite cheap to live in either of these cities very very cheap from um, my friends who live there they pay very small amount of money on rent and uh, i mean compared to those of us that live in bigger cities so yeah you may consider newcastle or sunderland is leeds and it's actually one of the best cities to live in the uk it is located in west of yorkshire and it is welcoming it is friendly I mean, Leeds is an amazing place to live. And um, from what I've heard, a friend of mine that lives there was, was actually encouraging me to move to Leeds a um, few years ago. He was like, are you sure you don't want to move to Leeds? Like, it's a very beautiful place, really. So, and of course, it is actually um, cheap. I remember a friend of mine that lives there. He actually bought his house in less than 18 months. And that's because he was able to, he was able to save quite a lot of money because it wasn't paying so much on on rent compared to those of us that um, were living you know say in essex or other other expensive places like london as well so you may want to consider lit lit is actually very very beautiful trust me additionally um lit is actually very diverse as well so if you're looking for a diverse place somewhere welcoming somewhere friendly and at the same time relatively cheap you may want to consider lit next is actually cardiff cardiff is actually one of the cheapest places to live in the uk it is quite diverse as well well relatively diverse but i know for sure that it's a friendly place to live and um, it's quite compact so if you're looking at a place that is quite cheap you may want to consider cardiff as well it's also the capital of wales and it's the main commercial site actually in wales so you may want to consider cardiff really. on my list is actually sheffield and um, it's located in south yorkshire sheffield is actually not far from manchester kind of i think it's just about one half from manchester if i'm correct and sheffield is actually very very um, affordable to live it's actually a home to a lot of affordable universities in the uk i i know that um, they have some universities that are quite affordable i know university of sheffield i know sheffield hallam university and um, you may just want to look it up online especially if you're coming to the uk as a student you may want to consider studying in one of the universities in sheffield and of course it's been said that um, sheffield is even the top third most affordable place for students to live so you may want to um, consider sheffield it's actually quite inexpensive to live in sheffield the next on my list is actually stoke on trent it is a very beautiful city but then it is quite cheap to live in stoke on trent and um, the cost of living there is actually quite low so you may want to consider stoke on trent if you're looking at um, a place that is cost friendly cost effective and all so of that so going to the west midlands i'll be talking about two cities one is coventry and the other one is wolverhampton but for the purpose of this video let's just call it wolves okay so wolves is actually a very good place to live um like i said it's located in west midlands it's quite affordable or even cheap to live in wolves and same goes for coventry in fact as regards coventry it is actually said that um, it has um, a very high standard of living so if you're looking for a place that is relatively cheap but with a very high standard of living you may want to consider coventry another thing i love about coventry and of course wolves is how they they, um, they are linked to several cities like they have um amazing links to for instance um coventry has amazing links to either birmingham um even to london to manchester like so i feel like they're in a very, just like I mentioned like west midland so they have links to all those amazing um cities and so if you want to like say um travel to london it wouldn't take you so much time if you want to go to birmingham from coventry if you want to go to wolves if you want to come to manchester like i just feel like it's in a good position if you want to like um travel to neighboring cities and the same goes for wolves at, as well it's got links to london i mean quick links let me use the word quick links to london to birmingham 
to manchester to bristol like it's just in a very good place so you may want to consider you know any of these two cities in the west midlands so yeah what other city did i not mention guys so let's not forget that um these cities i mentioned are actually based on personal research or from i wouldn't say personal experience mostly from research from the people that um i know friends families um loved ones and all of that so um if i say somewhere is actually cheap and affordable you may feel like it is expensive because let's not forget that cheap the word cheap or the word expensive is also relative but generally from what i've read what i've heard from family and friends i believe these cities are quite affordable to reside and of course i reside in one of the cities so yeah if there are other cities you feel i like omitted that um, i should have mentioned let me know in the comment section and if you live in any of the cities if you don't mind telling us um your cost of living per month i mean it will help one or two people i forget i actually have some merch um on my channel at the moment so if you don't mind shopping from my long list of uh, merchandise please kindly um patronize me so yeah i've got um t-shirts customized t-shirts which i'll leave on the screen for you to see i've got mugs i've got um um water bottle i've got um a funny pack i've got se several customized items that actually if you're watching this on a phone you can look to your right if you're watching on a computer or on your tv you might want to look downwards and you'll find my merchandise so please um patronize me okay help this girl make some money okay thank you so much for your patronage so thank you so much guys for watching if you're yet subscribed please subscribe like share of course smash the notification bell as well so you'll always be notified when i put up videos on this channel and i'll see you in my next video bye